Ahoy hoy, it's your boy, Attack Slug, and today we have yet another edition of Where You At. And as you can see, we are looking at The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, a 2006 release from Bethesda. And uh, this is a video that I kind of put off for a bit, knowing that eventually I would have to get to it, because I'm going to be really confused here. Uh, I had not played this game in quite some time, and it's a big game. It's a complicated game. There's a lot going on. Uh, so we're going to hit start here. Um, we're going to hit uh, load. And uh, save number 46. I guess the auto save is more important, but save 46 was actually done 2006, uh, which is kind of pretty close to when this game came out. And then my, my last auto save at level 10, uh, 24 hours of this game, only at level 10, because I'm, I don't know what the fuck I was doing, um, 2009. So, uh, we're gonna load this, and, uh, this should be either a very short video, or a very long video. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go, um, because if my memory serves, I was infected with vampirism, or something. Why is she glowing? What are the, the rumors? Has made more than a few so, this is the fourth time. game in the Elder Scrolls series. Uh, my personal history, history with the series is that I didn't start... Like, I, I started on the original Xbox with Morrowind, which was the third game. Um, and played, you know, 20 or 30 hours of that. And was like... Okay. And then... Uh, I bought a 360 at launch. And this was one of the reasons, but this game got delayed from the launch window into, like, March or April? I think it was March. Um, and I played a bunch of it when it came out, and just kind of a lot of the issues with the game kind of got on my nerves, so I stopped playing it. Um, and at some point... Go away. At some point you would think I would have, you know, played it on the PC. At the time, in 06, my PC was hot garbage, so that was not an option. Um, and... Everything that I've seen, the PC version obviously is a highly modifiable, so uh, that would have been a better option for me, um, considering when you look at some of this stuff, I don't know what any of the buttons do. Oh, no. Like, I, don't, I don't even know where the map is. What, what button is map? Oh, there, I'm, I'm, alright. I'm a cat man, I have a tail. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cadget. Kajit? However the hell you pronounce it. Um, let's not play it in third person because that's not very good. Um, back button's wait. Start button is menu. That's a fireball. Probably a bad idea. Um, how do I pull up anything else? I have forgotten all of there. Ah, oh, see, here's... The issue is that the UI, you know, it's technically a PC UI, but it's so, like, the resolution is terrible. So, because obviously they, they had to account for not everybody had an HD screen at the time. In 06, HD was a brand new thing for game consoles. Um, so, like, I get it, but actually trying to play through it in this manner. No mods, no DLC, no anything. This is bare bones, original ass Oblivion. Um, so, I guess I, I guess I was still looking for a, a, a vampire cure, which is, uh, yeah. Oh, hold on, what's, is that my, my active quest? Five empty grand soul gems. So, yeah, there's a bunch of things here that I'm just not going to do. Um, I mean, I did do a handful of quests, but this, this, these games are so oppressively large with so many ways to get easily distracted, uh, it's kind of amazing. So, my quest marker says I should be going this way, so let's venture over this way and, uh, See what the deal is. Ah, you must be the See, I'm not sure why they're glowing. I'm not sure that's a, a, a side effect of my vampirism 
or or what the deal is, but uh, there are certain caves where it's really easy to get infected as, you know, a vampire, and then the quest to get rid of it is kind of a convoluted mess, uh, which is why I ended up never actually uh, completing it, but uh, I may just head out into the world here just because. Yeah, I got a sword. So, you do a lot of adventuring in the countryside. Uh, one of the biggest complaints I know with, with this game specifically uh, was that... The dungeon stuff um, was... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the, the level scaling was the, the, the issue. So, all the dungeons kind of felt the same and played the same, and all the equipment, all the loot, which is why you would play a game like this to get all the cool loot, uh, kind of just all scaled t to your level. And obviously in the PC version, you can change a lot of that stuff and make it a lot more interesting, a lot more uh, ex exciting, and have areas that you shouldn't be able to go to. Here, you can kind of just go anywhere, and there really aren't that many high-level, you know, um, enemies that, 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 that are gonna really interrupt you. Um, I wanna wonder if the sun will come out and kill me? Like, I don't know how far my vampirism actually progressed, so maybe we'll just let it kill me, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure- like, I, I'm sure that, that the- that the glowing thing is a- is a side effect of that. It has to be, because people didn't do that otherwise. Um, but this is the only save file I have, and- and I was not, at the time, not in the habit of keeping multiple saves to be able to, you know, regress my- my, um... I got infected and go back before that. I only had that one save uh, because, really, I didn't do a lot of PC gaming in the 90s, so I never had that ingrained into me, of, you know, to continue to make multiple saves just in case. Um, I was very much a console gamer in the 90s, so... Unfortunate when you encounter a game that, you know, is kind of meant for PC and uh, gets consoleized if you don't follow those practices that are, you know... Save states are important, you guys. It's a good thing to have, because you can end up in a position like this, where you're a fucking vampire, and it's a pain in the ass to fix it. Um, so I'm gonna keep following this, uh... I want to say I was in there to steal soul gems, because this lady wanted soul gems. Um, but... I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm pretty sure that that was my mission, and so I was just gonna try to creep in there and steal them, but, um, obviously now I am wandering. Am I walking on the water? I can't even tell. Maybe. Maybe it's just really shallow. Anyway, uh, so, I've played a little bit of Skyrim, which is Elder Scrolls V, and kind of went, eh, it's really not, and I like fantasy games, don't, don't get me wrong, um, but, I end up playing games like Dark Souls, and, and uh, that to me is a more engaging experience than uh, Elder Scrolls. Um, I found a fort. So there's a lot of exploring, there's you can you know, go on different quest lines, and alright, let's just head into this dungeon because... Why not? Let's make this video somewhat interesting, Maybe perhaps I'll die, I don't know. So... We are now in a dungeon. Or a... Yeah, that's definitely a... Oh, that's something... Oh, that's... Alright. I don't want any of this stuff. This game has things like encumbrance, which is, uh... If you don't know what encumbrance is, is you can only carry a certain amount of weight in your gear. Which sucks. Hey, guy! Sneak attack! Oh. So your skills increase as you as you use them, which is uh, a cool thing to have. Like, I think that mechanically is nice because then it's gonna adapt to your playstyle. Uh, I don't know how well it actually works in practice, but let's take your uh, lockpicks. Yeah, take your lockpicks to help. Having lockpicks is a good thing to have. Um, Alright, well, let's 
keep on going a little bit longer. Uh, we haven't been, we haven't actually been filming for that long, so, uh, I mean, it's kind of difficult to encompass everything what this game entails in the scope of a 20 or 30 minute video. It's just not, not ideal. But, I thought I would at least show a little bit of, uh, what the deal is here. Um, there, there is kind of an adjustable difficulty, uh, for something like this. Do I have a... No, do I have a... Alright, I was gonna say. Usually, most games, you'll have the jump on an A button, and here it's Y, so that's... Kind of takes a bit of getting used to. Um, but the problem is, really, with these dungeons, is they all kind of feel very, um... There's a lot of guys in there. They all kind of feel very copy and paste. So... And with the way that the, uh, loot scaling works... What's my... Is it, am I sneaking there? I can't tell. Yeah, I am. Alright. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Hi! That's... No, I didn't want to hit that button. Please don't kill me, Mr. Goblin Guy. Um... Meh. That's what I want. No. What is that? Oh, it's a crab. Crab! Dead crab. Open this chest. Yes, potions. Alright, so... How do I... How do I use items? I guess that's a good question. That's magic stuff. Uh, having not played this game in some time, uh, is, oh, alright, that's what fire is, um, like, how do I get to my inventory? Up, down, left, right, none of that stuff works. Um, there we go, alright. Kajit, the thief. Assassin. It's me. I'm Catman. Uh, Alright, here's... I want my spells. No. I don't want spells. I want... Um... Yeah, see, this stuff's all kind of not set up great. Alright, now... We, we have healed now. We have regained our health. We will go see what the hell this is. A giant mouse. I just murdered. Yes, yeah, so I am definitely uh, very much a, a vampire, which is kind of. I guess if you want, if you wanted to play as that, it's kind of cool. But um, I was just trying to progress through the game normally, and I am far too lazy to start over. In addition, if I were ever going to play this game again, uh, it would certainly not not be on the Xbox 360. I could buy the complete edition on on um, the PC, and even then, I wouldn't even do that. I would just, you know, buy the legendary edition of Skyrim uh, instead, because uh, for all intents and purposes, that is a much more uh, appealing game. But not appealing enough for me, as I really don't care that much. And it's been real cheap in the Steam sale too, like five bucks or six bucks, something like that. Or, at least the base edition has, and then the DLC has still been pretty, uh, expensive. Well, I guess he saw me. Alright. Whatever. Don't run away from my love! I just want to use my sword to love you! I think, I th I think, he, I think he was, a uh, um, the chef. Alright, that's, uh... Flour, rice, that's, you know, things a chef would have on his person. Giant rat. I could, I could open the, no, I don't want the rat meat, I'm sorry. I'll pass. So, the game, like other games uh, in the series, you can pretty much pick up and keep as, like, stuff. Like, stuff you don't ever need. Just kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's tr trying to emulate a living and breathing world and, uh kind of falls short in a lot of regards because of a lot of reasons, but 
Uh, you can certainly respect the amount of work that went into it, even if a lot of these dungeons feel very uh, copy and pasted. Can I jump that? Ah, oh, I hit the jump button, god damn it. What's happening? Fall damage was happening. Uh, already down here. Alright, so now I'm kind of lost, and that's... I, I found where I came in, but... Uh, oh, that's... Alright, that's where I didn't go. So this this might end up... Oh, I got a lockpick it too? Alright, so... Personally not a big fan of the lockpicking mechanics in this game. We'll auto-attempt it. Nope. Nope. And I don't like that. Alright, so we're just not gonna go in this door. Apparently. Unless that guy opens it for me. Which, uh... No, he just... He wants to hit it from the other side, which is not gonna help us at all. So I guess we're gonna leave, because, uh... We're not getting into that very hard lockpick. That's kind of a shame. Alright, let's make our way out of this, uh, uh... Dungeonous area. At least I've managed to show off one of them. There are, like, 200? 150? I don't know, a lot. They've, they've certainly populated the world with, a, you know, a bunch of stuff to go see. Uh, whether or not it's interesting enough to actually go see it, I don't know. Um, this game also had a lot of DLC. Uh, some of that was worthwhile, uh, and some of that was, you know, like, the infamous horse armor, not worthwhile. Um, but if you, like, these days you can certainly pick up the complete edition that's gonna have all the DLC and everything else, uh, in it. Um... Both on, you know, the PC and the 360 and PS3, I believe. Uh, right, let's get out of here. Let's continue to head to our uh, blue dot and see if we can't figure out what's going on there. This guy wants to fight, so we're gonna oblige him. I'm not gonna take any of his stuff. Um, and then we're gonna keep heading this way, I guess. Um, I don't want to film for too much longer because, you know... Walking in this game does take, um, I don't, know if, I don't know if there's a run button. If there is, I don't, I don't know what the hell it is. Nope. I'm so used to playing, you know, games that are in first person and have a, and have a run button. Instead I can just do this jump, which is kind of obnoxious that that actually builds up your, you know, uh, one of your stats. So a lot of people are just, you know, sp spend the whole game... Jumping, which is kind of obnoxious. Um, I don't know. It, it's uh, this kind of RPG for me. Like the main story is not the draw for most people. It's the amount of things that you can go and do and see. And I get that, but for me, it's just there's way too much, and that it just becomes a bit uh, over, over, overwhelming. Um, because I kind of want to go see and do everything, and I just don't have the the inclination to play a singular game for that many hours that it would take. Um, so we're gonna see if we can maybe fast travel where we need to go. Um, no, that's not that. I keep forgetting what. Oh, something's attacking me. Oh, hey, thing. Wolf? White wolf? Oh. See, why were you? Alright, so... I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I've claimed your soul. Your soul is mine. I don't know what your deal was. Alright, so... What I was gonna say... Is let's see if we can fast travel. Um... Yes. So yeah, uh, you can fast travel to areas that you have already been to, which, you know, in a game that is this big, super useful. Um, but then of course you know, you gotta sit through these, uh, load times, and you know, it's 06 load times, not nah, the best thing in the world. Alright, so... I guess I wanna go in the... I mean, is that... Was that a marker, or was that my actual quest? I guess is the question. Because I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so I made that. 
Oh, oh, something's attacking me. It's a rat. It's a rat! You dirty rat! Alright, so... Green? I want to say that I... Alright, that was a marker I set. So, let's, uh... Oh, that's fucking phenomenal. Like, I don't even have a... Don't even have a marker for that. Oblivion Gate! So, there are these gates, and your main mission is to, you know, go in there and close them. So, uh, we're, we're, what we're gonna do here, to, to end this video, is to go in there and uh, potentially die. Because that will be a fitting ending to uh, this video. Because I'm not gonna go find five empty Grand Soul Gems uh, to get further instructions. Fuck that. Um, so, let us enter this Oblivion Gate. Oh, I gotta hit the button. Missed it. Alright, more load times! Um, yeah, so, basically, uh, this is a game that's gonna sit in my collection, I guess, forever, because it's not really, like, this original, even though it was the collector's edition, it's not worth anything, I don't think. It came with a coin, and it's got a big book in there, and all sort of nonsense, and it's not really worth anything, so... It's not worth my time and effort to sell it, therefore, it will sit on my shelf forever, and, uh, the hell attacked me. What is it? Alright. Um, like I was saying, it will sit on my shelf, whoa, fireball, forever, and never get played. Because, who cares? Because it's not worth anything. So, whatever. Dude, not cool. Little devil man. I'm claiming souls, because, you know, that's a cool thing to do, right? I don't want to go in, that's lava. I should probably not go in that. Probably a bad idea. Um, I'm not really sure where to go here. But I know I should probably not go in the lava. I think you climb these towers, and then that's how you claim the, the, uh, you, you fight a boss, I think. And that's how you close the Oblivion Gates. I don't really know. This thing's gonna shoot fireball at me. Yep. Mystery solved. So I guess I want to head toward here and see if we can't figure out what the hell's going on here. Yes. Alright, yes. The Sorrow Keep. Like, everything has, like, like you know, cool names. They're very, very, um, very dark fantasy type, type deals, and it's good stuff. So I wonder if... No, well, apparently killing guys does not, uh... It's gold. I will always take gold. It seems like killing guys does not regain any of my health. I don't know if I have to actually, like, suck blood or something like, 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 like that. I don't know. What the, um, what the deal is there. But I don't really have any interest in, uh, continuing this much, much, much longer. Is that where I came in? Right. Door to the Halls of Eternal Twilight. That sounds like a thing. Yes. Heading up. Alright, so let's see if we can, uh, manage to find our way to our death here. Um... I'm just not going to heal and see how far I can make it. Because that's always a good challenge, right? Oh, that guy's made a fire. And now he's dead. Sucks to be you. Creepy living door thing. Oh, don't do that to me. That's not cool. Open the punished. Uh, there's gold in that heart because... Well, why not? Fantasy. So yeah, it's um, it's Oblivion. It's if you know what it is, it's you know you just this this video is not going to contain any any surprises for you. Um, but it was in my list of games that I I wanted to take a look at uh in a where you at video because honestly I did not recall a whole lot of where I was at um. Hey, hey, I'm gonna stab you with this knife, okay? Thanks. Appreciate it. 
Here we go. Here we go, this guy. Is that armor? Yeah, armor guy! Oh! Dead armor guy. I will take your Daedra heart. Thank you very much. I'll appreciate it. But, it doesn't seem like we're gonna die here, and uh, it does seem like I'm pretty lost, so... That is a good a place uh, as any to uh, end this episode of Where You At, of uh, The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, for the Xbox 360, not the best version that you want to play. If you're playing it, get it on PC. It's Look on the Steam sale, it is probably super cheap. Um, there's a common soul gem. I need, I need grand soul gems, not this fucking common soul gem bullshit. Oh, spiky traps. Alright, so... Let us walk into these spiky traps here. Yeah! One more time. Come on. That's it, I'm dead! Alright, so that was where you at. I am Attack Slug. Uh, once again, we have looked at a game that I had not loaded up a save file in quite some time. So I will see you right here on this channel next time for another edition of Where You At Attack Slug. And I'm out. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, where you at, boy?